Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my first ever sit down video for 2018. So I did one of these last year sort of just wrapping up 2016. I thought I'd do another one this year for 2017. So I thought I'd just go through what things I've achieved, sort of what goals I've got to accomplish or that I want to accomplish for 2018. I can't exactly remember what I said last year because I haven't actually re-watched last year's video and yeah just sort of like reflect on the year. This isn't going to include things I've gained on YouTube because I'm going to do a separate video for things that I've achieved here on YouTube this year and things I hope to achieve in 2018. But that will be on my two years on YouTube which will be going up in February. So without further ado let's jump into this video. So the first thing that I've written down is that I finished my first year of hairdressing. So if you guys don't know, at the end of last year I received a hairdressing apprenticeship. It goes for three years and now I've been there a year. I've accomplished everything that I have needed to get done in my first year. I'm now a second year apprentice so that is really really exciting. It was not easy. There are a lot of times where I felt like I just wanted to stop. Second thing I've written down is that I won second place at the regional hairdressing competitions. So we competed in Bay of Plenty this year and my model won second place in my category. So I was in the pre-apprentice which basically is where you do all the work beforehand and you go on the floor for five minutes and sort of zhuzh it up and make it the best you can. Um, I wasn't originally entered in that event, I was entered in the Hair by Night Live, which is where you do it all live. My model pulled out a week before and then my second model that I got pulled out two days before. I thought, crap, I'm not actually going to be able to do competitions at all. And um, then I ended up using one of my workmates as my model and managed to get second place in the event that I got which now means my name is on the window at work, so it is very, very exciting. The third thing that I achieved is I actually had the guts to go for my restricted. Currently still don't have it. I went for it twice and failed. First time was because I screwed up my parallel park, which was fair enough. Second time, I was driving for 45 minutes and you drive for an hour, so I literally had 15 minutes left. I indicated too late for my parallel park and then I followed two cars too closely and three means you fail so that sucks. At least I actually went for it because I'd always been saying like for the last year that I, uh, I'll go for it when I'm ready. The thing is I don't ever feel like we are truly ready for things. I feel like we just have to try and do them anyways and just see where we get. Um, The first time I was like I just want to try and see what it's like so I'm so happy that I actually finally tried because at least now I know what I'm in for. I did a lot of things this year that I had been saying for so long that I was going to do so that sort of follows on from the license point. I finally got the piercings I wanted to get. I had been saying for so long that I was going to get my seconds done I think since I was about eight. Since I was about eight I'd wanted my belly button pierced. Every year I was like oh I'll do it this year, I'll do it this year, I'll do it this year and then I was like oh by the time I'm 18 I want to be able to do this and then that time came and I still hadn't done it and so this year now that I was actually working I was like right I've got the money. The piercings were on sale so I was like I may as well go and do it now and I did it so I got my seconds and my thirds done I got a cartilage one up here I got my triggers done my belly button done got my nose done another thing is go to the AMP show um, I actually vlogged that so I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it it's one of my most favorite vlogs that I have on my channel I've been saying for so long that I was gonna go to the AMP show every year I was like oh yeah I'll go this year I'll go this year I'll go this year and I never ever went um, I guess tying on from that I finally went to another concert so I went to the Ariana Grande concert, again I vlogged it so I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it. Again, another really really cool set of vlogs, probably another two of my favourites. I've been saying for so long that I wanted to go to another concert. Ariana Grande came around, I love her stuff, so I thought you know what, I'm just going to buy tickets. And I went and yeah, I'm so excited because I kind of wanted to make it a thing that every year I went to a new concert. The last concert I'd been to before that was Reese Maston and that was when I was like 13. So that was like year 9, so that was like 2012 or something, which was ages ago like that. So it's 6 years ago. I finally bought a car. So I saved up and yeah, I purchased my first car, which you would have seen if you follow me on Facebook, Instagram or if you saw my Christmas parade vlog. 
again if you haven't I'll link it down below but um yeah at the beginning of that vlog it just shows my car and the last thing that I've written down on my list that I've achieved this year is managing my time better when I first started working I was terrible at spending time with my friends having time for myself working on stuff for work like it was just terrible work does take up a lot of my time and I used to get really really annoyed and I felt like work was just getting in the way but this year I realized that I can do things after work finishes I can go and hang out with my friends on a Saturday, I can go out clubbing on a Saturday night, sleep Sunday and Monday and then go back to work on Tuesday. For YouTube on a Saturday or a Sunday, even a Monday if I need to. I can go into town on a Monday and get things done if I need to. Now I'm moving on to things I'd like to achieve in 2018. Kind of like New Year's resolutions. I've just written down a few things. So the first thing I would love to do is get my restricted license which again was something that I said last year that I wanted to achieve for 2017. The second thing on here is to pass year two of my hairdressing apprenticeship, so that'll just come with being at work. The third thing is to win some more awards at competitions. So I think next year I'm doing some of the live events and also the colour events. The next thing on here is to exercise more. So I am on my feet all day at work, but it doesn't really feel like exercise. Like I've been looking into going to a gym. Um, I really, really want to find a dance class because I used to go to dance class in year 10 and I really, really miss going to one. At the moment, I don't have a lot of energy, so I think that will come with exercising a lot more. The next thing on here is to read more. So I definitely could have read a lot more this year. Um, I didn't read as many books in 2017 as I did in 2016. And it really, really frustrates me because as you can see, like I've got book law behind me. There's like a pile here which you can see, some underneath. Um, I love to read, it's one of my most favourite things to do and I feel like I just haven't read a lot. I would like to read a lot more in 2018. Next thing I've got on here is to eat more healthily. My diet is shocking. I eat so much crap. I do have a fast metabolism so it kind of just doesn't really go anywhere. And I think as well combined with exercising better and probably sleeping better as well we will have more energy. And I feel like everyone says this every year for their New Year's resolutions that they want to eat healthier and that they want to exercise more. And most of the time it doesn't happen. But um, I really, really want to try. Whenever I go out to eat, I always eat really, really healthy. It's just when I'm at home, I get really, really lazy. And especially because a lot of the time I work really, really long hours. So if mum's not cooking dinner, then I'm like, oh, I'll just grab like a quick takeaways on the way home. Next thing on here is to pay off half of my loan. So I had to get a loan for my car because, I mean, save and I spend. And that's the best way to do your money, I reckon. At the moment, I think I've paid off a grand of that. Just because I hate owing people money. So I think I'd just feel better if that was at least half paid off because I've got two years to pay it off. The last thing I think that I can think of is to be a lot happier. So 2017 has been a really, really hard year for me. I think mentally and socially it's been a lot harder. I don't really feel quite ready to talk about it yet on camera. It's not doing me any good as long, alongside being happy as I want to actually find a therapist this year because I was going to one halfway through last year but they just weren't that great. Um, they didn't really know what they were doing. I think they were more interested in trying to be friends with me rather than helping me out which is not what I need. I need, I need to go into an office and sit down and just talk about stuff with people which I find really really hard to do. I find it really really hard to open up to people. It's not healthy to not be right up here and a lot of people don't believe in mental health. It is a big thing, it is a big issue and for someone like me who struggles with a lot of stuff mental health is really really important so there we go guys that is everything that I have written down or thought of uh, things I've achieved in 2017 and things I'd like to achieve in 2018 again if you guys haven't watched last year's one I'll link it down below so make sure you go over and check that out if you did like this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I think it's really really important to reflect on the past year and just because sometimes you can feel like you haven't really done that much like, I also think it's really really important important to future plans and future goals that you can set yourself. Um, you can leave a comment if you want about some things that you have achieved in 2017 or some things you would like to achieve in 2018. I'd be really really interested to know what your plans are. If you are new then I just want to say hey and welcome to my channel. Hope you decide to stick around and join our family here on this channel. We'd love to have you come along with us. Check out my social media links, they're all linked in the description box below. Give me a follow on those and I will see you guys in my next video. Hi! I can still see my Christmas wrapping paper at the side. Got my little list that I wrote down on my phone.